You had mentioned that、uh, when you were working with single women and coaching them, that a lot of them had shame in、mm. their、uh, in their psyche, right、mm-hmm. in their mind. They were、uh, ashamed a lot,、uh, many times, of just being single.、Mm-hmm. They would dread having to go to the family functions or the weddings and friends, and tr- getting triggered every time someone says, "Where you know, do you have someone special in your life, or when are you going to you know meet someone?" And they they would feel this kind of, "I'm not a part of the club.、Mm-hmm. I'm not a part of the the love club, the couple club."、Okay. I used to feel that way too. Like, that. Feeling accepted because now you're a couple, and that's how society set up. So if you're single, you're kind of flailing out there in the、mm-hmm. middle of the ocean without a, a life raft, and and you're waiting for someone. And that person is you're putting all that onus on that other person to save you from shame. And that is just going to what you're going to do is you're going to attract people into your life that reinforce it versus actually change it. At first maybe you feel temporarily lifted. Oh, this person likes me, but either they'll be really annoying and you can't handle their love and accept you push the people that love and accept you away or you sabotage it and you、yeah. you find a way to、um, to be too needy and then push them away. Right, so let's look at that scenario right there、mm-hmm. from a therapy model.、Uh, the idea would be this person is experiencing、uh, toxic shame that is injuring their self worth,、mm-hmm. right? Their self image, their self esteem, as it used to be called. And then the therapy, or, uh, I'm, I'm generalizing and simplifying just for the sake of an example.、Uh, there are great therapies out there that work really well to help people. Uh, but that's the general approach, right? That there's something、uh, there's something amiss because of the shame、uh, that you this person shouldn't feel ashamed. They they should be able to deal with this in a more、uh, healthy, constructive way, right? Now, what happens in that model then is again the the individual is pathologized. Their emotions are pathologized. Now, this natural emotion, because if we look at the evolutionary perspective,、uh, the shame is there to give them a sense of what should they be doing with their lives、mm. and their relationships, and it's simply saying, if you want to be respected and you want to fit into the group that you value and that you've grown up around. You should be married, or you、mm. should have be in, in in a healthy or a, a relationship, or you、sometimes. should have children and you know, all、yeah. those things. Yeah, and、uh, from the coaching model, we would say, well, let's approach it from that. Let's just take that at face value. Not、mm. that there's something wrong, but simply that the mind is is indicating because of its evolutionary history that yeah, it's saying you should. Try to be like the other people、mm. and fit in. Is there anything pathological about that? No, it's simply the way the mind works. So seeing it more from a, a less personal place, but seeing oh, this is how the mind works.、Yeah. You know, I had a someone had me coach when I way in the beginning before I met you. She had me write down the reasons why I wanted a child because I was like, I really want a baby so bad. And when I wrote down the reasons, it was all about fitting in. It was all、mm. about family pressure,、yeah. uh, you know, feeling that my family would accept me more if I had the traditional life that everyone else had, and that there was some some sort of security in that. And、um, and I was really surprised by just that simple exercise of why do I want this? Just questioning: Is this what I really want, or is this my ego just fitting into the old conformative patterns that、uh, makes me stick with society? Yeah, and and so the the approaches are very different from the get go.、Mm-hmm. Very different, and lead to very different places.、Mm-hmm. All right. If you approach it from a brokenness model, of course, it's going to lead you、uh, to maybe you feel some kind of relief that you're able to talk about it. You identify it as, oh, I have some kind of syndrome, some kind of pathology, some kind of adjustment disorder, or a self esteem problem. But it doesn't really get to the core of the psyche, which、mm. is in the unconscious mind. the The Jungian coaching model says, if you see this as, oh, okay, this is a natural part of the process, 
I might not like it and, and you don't have to accept it. You're going to work with it. You're mm -hmm. going to do something about it, but you don't necessarily approach it as something pathological in you. You're simply saying, this is the way the mind works. And if I want to transform it, I will have to accept that it is part of my mind. It's arising. That emotion is arising within me and I have to do something about it. Not, not externally. In other words, not satisfy the group and, and get into a relationship because it's going to make me feel better.